everyone, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Here I bring you along with me on my life path, my career path, and my academic path. I hope this video gives you some encouragement and some inspiration into what field you would like to go into. So let's get on to the video. So we're going to go back to the year 2022 to present. So in 2022 to 2024, I went to Valencia College where I graduated with my Associates of Arts degree. And then I was able to smoothly transfer over to UCF. In year 2025 to 2027, I went to UCF and I graduated with my BA degree in anthropology. In 2028, I got engaged and I got my first job in anthropology. In 2029, I got married and we got a house. In 2030 to 2031, I had a baby and I was able to go on to maternity leave where I started a blog and then after my maternity leave, I went back to work. In 2032, we moved into a nicer house and I'm currently working at Search Inc. So now let's go on to questions that YouTube subscribers have asked. Hey guys, so I lost the footage. I lost the footage of um, this one question that someone asked, and I wanted to make sure that we got all of the questions in. So um, this is the question that they asked. They said, do you have any tips for writing a good essay? And what I see to that is um, when you write a resume, you put a little paragraph of yourself, basically. So, like, you kind of tell them about yourself, your hobbies, and everything like that. We call it a branding statement or a purpose statement. You talk about, like, your hobbies, your interests, how they um, relate to the job that, you, that you're applying for. Um, it's just write about yourself. Um, interesting things. You need to make sure that you put in a lot of adjectives to describe yourself. And this is an example of what I wrote. I said, I am a knowledge seeker who learns and teaches by making history exciting for children and adults so they can learn the truth of our history. So it shows things that I want to do, what my purpose is for my career. And it also has a lot of adjectives describing who I am, what I want to do. And it shows the people that I want to teach. Okay, so let's move on to the rest of the actual footage. Bye. Was it an easy transition to go to UCF? Yeah, actually it was. Um, so Valencia actually has a, a system called Direct Connect to UCF. They had a lot of benefits such as personal success coaches, academic advisors, UCF transition services, enrollment assistance, so they helped a lot. What ways did you get help from the colleges you attended? So the colleges that I attended, I was able to get academic advisors and a lot of support for tuitions and scholarships. They helped me out with that a lot. Um, there were tutoring centers and there were counselors that also helped me with academic things, but also personal stuff. So they were always there for me. And we also had career centers um, and career fairs um, every now and then, like every few months. So that was very helpful as well. And they would also like email us a few days ahead of time and the day of so that we know when it's happening. field of archaeology or history did you want to go into? Did you go into that field or change your mind? So I did go into the field. The specific kind that I went into was archaeology laboratory technician. And I didn't change my mind. I wanted to travel, but I wanted to travel with my family instead. General skills do you need to be a lab archaeologist? So things um, that you actually need to be a lab archaeologist is writing skills. What I didn't know was that you have to know how to program. Did you apply for scholarships or funds? If so, which ones? So in Valencia and UCF, I was able to get uh, FAFSA for a student loan. I was also able to get um, Don Plummer scholarship, which was from a church that I go to, and a Pell Grant. Once I transferred to UCF, I was still able to get those, but I also was able to get in-state tuition. Do you have any artifacts that you can show us? Yes, I do have artifacts. So, I'll be right back. 
One of the artifacts that I have is this elephant ring that we found in India. Um, the next item we have is actually kind of near and dear to my heart. This is a mirror that we found in Lake Berryessa. The reason why it's kind of near and dear to my heart is because I was raised an hour to two hours away from Lake Berryessa. Unfortunately, there was a dam that broke and it covered the whole town and unfortunately everyone died. What things do archaeologists in the field and the lab use? In the field and in the lab we use a lot of things that are similar. So we we'll have um, little brushes that we use in the field to brush it off a little bit. We also have measuring tapes that we use. In the lab we use a log book. If something happens with the technology we have a backup. Are those all the questions we got today? Yes, that is. Okay, awesome. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comments down below. And make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.